So it's another month, another Monster Bass box in the mail. So that means we're gonna learn another technique. This video, we're gonna be learning about the drop shot. First, let's take a look at all the drop shot stuff that came in the box. We have some one knot drop shot hooks. We have two plastics in here, the Z-Man Trick Shots and the Exxon Pro Series Slammer. Just like with the Texas Rig Box, they have this wonderful little booklet that has a lot of information in it. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what we can learn. Monster Bass Channel. I'm Tyler Berger. Let that bait do the work, and that way you're gonna catch a lot more bass. All right, so we're all rigged up. Here's the setup. We set up the spear point hook with the Z-Man trick shots. And right below that, we have an eighth ounce drop shot weight. We are going to be set up on a light 13 Fishing Defy Silver. The reel is a Daiwa Red Rose 1000 size. It spools up with 15 pound braid to a six pound fluorocarbon leader. I have a pond in mind where I wanna go fish this at. The bottom of it has a lot of this, uh, a lot of grass and scum on it. So I'm hoping that this setup will keep the lure out of that grass um, because the weight will be on the bottom. So now that we're all rigged up, we're gonna go fish it. Tossing it out, let it sit for a little bit. Give it a little wiggle. Got something. Ugh. Oh, I had something. That felt like a bite. There is a huge temperature drop. Yesterday it was in the 90s, basically, and today it's in the uh, 70s and 80s. I'm gonna save you the long waits, but I was working this bait painfully slow. From casting it out and working it back to the bank, I was taking at least three to five minutes. There were a good amount of false hook sets. The weight kept getting snagged on structure, grass, weeds, sticks, different kinds of snags. I kept thinking it was like a soft bite um, when I would feel some resistance, so I would just go ahead and try and set the hook. At this point, I really needed to take a break from fishing slow, so I started tossing out a mini chatterbait with the mule minnow as a trailer. I also kept telling myself that the strategy was to use it as a search bait, but to be honest, I was just kind of tired of fishing the drop shot. Oh. <laughs> Big ol' stick. After a little bit though, I was ready to get back to the drop shot fishing and get right on task and catch my first drop shot fish. Got one. Got one. Oh, he spit it out. Take it. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Now my crap's all jacked up. Where did you go? Dang it, I saw that one too. He hit it. Kind of sight fished that one. Oh, I saw him cruising right around here. I put it close to him. Wiggled it a little bit, and he hit it. <sighs> Got another one. Got another one. Got another one. Got another one. Not letting this guy go. Nope, 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 nope. <sighs> Come on, buddy. You ain't going back in there. <laughs> There we go. Whoo! He ate that one. 
Nice little pound. Yeah, buddy. But he's the biggest one I've caught all year. Whew. Look at that. He inhaled it. Man. That's the first drop shot fish. Let's get this. Hook. I barely even hooked it. Barely even hooked it. Let's get back in the water. All right, so that's all we had time for today. This worked out really well. It didn't take as long as my Texas rig video, which was great. That took quite a few trips. This one only took one. I think the video helped out a ton. Kind of let me know how to work this bait, how to work this entire rig. So the changes that I would make is upsize the rod and the reel. Like I said, this is a light powered rod. I think that one fish I lost was because the rod might've been underpowered. As you saw, I had it at the bank and it just jumped out and like it just seemed, the hook set didn't seem really strong. And same with the fish that I did catch, the hook set was, it felt like I barely set the hook. So I'm gonna upgrade to a medium light and see how that works out. I think I'm gonna have a way better experience with the medium light than I am with this light power rod. Not that you can't get away with the light power rod, but the one fish that I did catch, it was barely hooked. I went in there and I reached in for the hook and the hook just popped right out without much force. So, so yeah, all in all, box was great, learned a lot. The baits were pretty good. Uh, I'm going to experiment with some other baits like the Mule Fishing Mule Minnow. So if you want to pick up a box, link down in the description below. I'll see you on the next one where we learn another technique.